everyone. It's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. Okay, so let me show you my blanket. Yesterday, I put in the purple color that I had unboxed out of my uh, scrap ball boxes. and then, I, But I also had to put one row of the green in, the main color, okay? Because I'm doing that. Well, I'll do six rows, and then I'll do that one row of the main green, uh, green color. And so I had to do that as well. So here is my blanket. Uh, aren't those pretty cool colors? All those jewel tones right there all together. Um, I'm really curious on how this is going to look once I get all of, you know, the whole entire thing made and how the colors are going to go. <laughs> so anyway, there is my blanket so far. I will link below in the description box the pattern for that I'm using. I'm using the pattern. It's a, actually a baby chevron. It's called a chevron baby blanket or something like that <laughs> by Krista Cole Designs. And I, so I'll put that below in the description box. I did do one more re repeat to widen it a little bit more. I chained 147 if anybody's interested. I'm using a uh, six millimeter hook. <laughs> and... Um, I'm, I'm aiming it to be like a lap gan type size or a lap blanket. So there you go. <laughs> okay, so that is uh, what I've uh, put in for that. Like the movie that the movie that I watched was the Bishop the Bishop's Wife. Um, and I did enjoy that. I'd seen it before. I think last year was the first year that I'd seen it. And so I watched that and I really enjoyed it. And so for, uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and open the next box to see what the next color for the blanket is going to be. So this is box number seven. So let's see what it's going to be. It is. Oh, it's a blue. Still kind of staying with those jewel tone colors, looks to me like. <laughs> so it's going to be going right on top of there. Awesome. It's kind of like a royal blue i guess i think this is actually red heart super saver just blue i think anyway so that is the color i'm going to be putting in next and so uh the movie that i'm going to be watching for today um i think uh, it's a toss-up i have so many and i've had so many that was uh that um gave me suggestions in the comments of different movies to watch so I have I've been writing them down some of them I have not been able to find streaming I do like the movie Christmas in Connecticut but I haven't been able to find it streaming I like the the black and white version I believe it was oh my goodness I better not say well I was thinking it's Barbara Stanwyck but I'm not sure if that's who that is or not but anyway I can't seem to find it which is weird I mean I I found it to rent like on Amazon Prime but um I really was like wanting to find it for free you know just streaming and I haven't found it yet but anyway uh there was another one somebody talked about oh it happened on Fifth Avenue I think I've never heard of that movie but I've had a couple people say that it was really good and I can't seem to find that either so <laughs> anyway uh the movie for today I think I'm gonna watch is um I think I'm going to watch one from my childhood. It is available here on YouTube, so I will link it down below. But I'm going to watch Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to watch while I'm putting in those uh, that yarn. And uh, just a side note. Now, this is just like a, an announcement I want to make but or a request, okay? And the reason that Rudolph, that show reminded me of it is because in the care in the movie the show uh, Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer the snowman the one that narrates oh I, I went like this <laughs> because I made if you remember I made all the little Rudolph characters I crocheted them a couple of years ago <laughs> and so I'm, I'm thinking of that I need to get that set out um I haven't got it out yet, but anyway, um, it's Sam the Snowman is his name, but it's the it's the snowman that narrates the show. You know, the the story tells a story, and so there is a wonderful gentleman at our church that his voice sounds just like Sam the Snowman. And that's what it reminded me because that was of course played by Burl Ives, but his voice sounds so much like this one man that is from our church. And this man, I don't want to go ahead, I don't want to say his name, but uh, 
the Lord knows, <laughs> but he has been having so much health problems. He, he had a heart procedure he had to have done, and then ever since then, he's had one thing after the other, and uh, he is still pretty sick, and, and I know they, they did a bunch of testing, and they didn't, they hadn't been able to find out what's wrong, or at least I haven't heard, they haven't said as far as if they actually diagnosed him with something in particular, I don't know. But anyway, all I know is he's getting better, thank thankfully, but he still needs lots of prayer and good positive thoughts. So if you think of him um, for, for me, please say a prayer for him and uh, I would appreciate it. Um, yeah. He's a, he's just an awesome man. He's so compassionate. He is so, um, he is so giving. He's always got words of encouragement to everybody that he speaks to. And he's just a great guy. So anyway, please pray for him that he will get better. <laughs> okay. And so that's the movie I'm going to be watching is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And of course it's the animated, you no, know, the claymation version of it. And it's about 50 minutes long, something like that. But I'll link it down below in the description box because it is here on YouTube. Okay, and then another, while I'm on announcements, I'll go ahead and put this one in here. So Abby of Blue Heart Crochet, that was her, that's her YouTube channel. Well, her YouTube channel was taken over or hacked or something. I don't know, something happened and she lost, she lost her YouTube channel. And so she, now she's having to rebuild it back again. And she, of course she lost all her, f the, the people that were subscribed to her channel and, um, and the list of the people, the ones that she was subscribed to. I mean, all that information was lost. And so she is building back her channel. And so if you were subscribed to Abby before. I will link her channel be name below in the description box or link to her channel. Please go over there and revisit her and resub back up to her channel. And if you don't know Abby, then go ahead and go over there anyway and, and check out her channel and subscribe to her and, and, um, give her some well wishes. <laughs> uh, Abby's a great girl and she, she crochets all kinds of nice things and she's a knitter too. And I love to watch her crochet because I can tell that she was, she was a knitter before she started crocheting because the way she used, the way she uses her crochet hook and the way the, the, the yarn feeds through and you know, it, the way she works with it, it looks exactly like she's knitting, but she's crocheting. It's, it's really interesting. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to put that out there to go over there and give Abby some support. And so I appreciate it. Okay. So back to the vlogmas. <laughs> so on to Terilyn's gifts. As you know, Terilyn has a channel called All Yarned Up and she um, she is so sweet. She's always sending me packages, happy mail and different things. Not always, but I mean, o over the years, I've known her for a few years now. And she, over the years, she has sent me really nice things. And she's just very generous with everybody. Well, anyway, she fixed up a box that was supposed to be a combination birthday and Christmas because my birthday was on Thanksgiving. And so, uh, she said, don't open it till December the 1st. And she said she individually wrapped gifts for me to open during Vlogmas. So that was so sweet of Terilyn for doing that. Thank you so much, Terilyn. So anyway, let's go ahead and unwrap package number seven and we will see what's, what's inside. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get my scissors. <laughs> I think, I think it's a book. So, let's see. <laughs> yes, it's a book. Ooh. Come out. Oh, I don't have this. <laughs> it is our, our best baby Afghans. 54 baby blankets to fit any style. Oh, so nice. Thank you so much, Terilyn. There's some pretty blankets in there. Oh, I, I like that one right there on the front. See this one? It's got like a mesh design with hearts worked into it. That is so cool. I love that. Oh man. Yes. This is going to keep me busy because <laughs> I love making baby blankets. Oh, here, look, here's a chevron one. Oh, that's so pretty. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at the hexy one. Oh, so thank you so much, Terrilyn. I love this book. And I do not have this book either. Okay, so let's go on. Let's see. What else we have to do? Oh, the chocolate, um, this thing, Advent. <laughs> Advent calendar. Okay, so window number seven is right here. So let me open up that. Okay, hopefully the chocolate won't fall out. I'll stick my finger on it. <laughs> okay, and then this is continuing on with the uh, Night Before Christmas poem. This one says, When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> with sweet chocolate to eat in just a little bit. <laughs> okay, so that is my Vlogmas things to unwrap and open. <laughs> and so what have I done today? Well, as far as crocheting, besides getting my, well, that was yesterday evening and then this morning some, I um, worked on the cat that I'm working on. This is a Siamese cat pattern by Jess Huff. I will link it below in the description box. Uh, I worked on that. Let's see. Yesterday I told you I had all four of the legs done, but I didn't have the pieces in here, so I can go ahead and show you now. So there's a foot, back foot, <laughs> And then there's the other one. And then here are the front two legs, okay? And then I just made the tail. Look how it's got a bend to it. Isn't that cool? Very interesting how she how we do the shaping for that. So I have the tail done. And uh, I was reading through the pattern because I was thinking, well, do I make, is the head body one piece? Or, you know, I was trying to figure out what do I need to make next? And so uh, the next thing I need to make are the ears because I think it sounds to me like the ears are even crocheted into the head. So I'm very um, uh, excited to put this together because it's it's different than what Jess Huff's previous patterns, the way the assembly is. It's, it's going to be different than before. So I'm really anxious to see how she's revised things and how it's all going to fit together. So... So I'm going to be making the ears. The ears are this cafe latte color. And then I have to uh, put pink on the front, the inside of the ears. And so I need to pick out a pink. Not that, that one's too bright. But I've got one down further there that's pink, worsted weight. I'll probably use that one. Um, but you change color. It's all one piece. It's not like you do the pink first and then you do the back side of the ear and you stitch them together. I've had I've made ears like that. It, this one's not like that. You you um you change color. You know you do brown and then you add the pink and do a few stitches of pink and then you pick the brown back up again. You know and, and so it's like that. It's all worked in together one piece. So um, I'm gonna start that next. And so I worked on that, and then I also worked on my Feel Better Friend doll. I brought him in here so you can see. So I have got his head made and attached, as you can see. So I'm very happy with the, the sturdiness of how that worked. Um, this, this one's pretty easy to put together because you have 16 stitches around the top of the neck, and the base of the head has 16 stitches, so it's just stitch for stitch as far as putting, you know, stitching them together. And then I stuffed it as I went, and before I, I you know, closed it up all together, I made sure that I stuffed really, really well in the neck area and in up the up the edges here on the on the head and then down into the shoulders and stuff I made sure there was plenty of yarn in there to make it really really nice and sturdy so there you go he doesn't have his ears yet or uh, facial features at all <laughs> but I what I'm working on right now is the wig cap okay right here and so I'm just repeating the head, although uh, I'm making it longer. I, I did the same increases as far as the uh, circumference of it. But then I'm putting straight uh, straight rows, no, rounds to um, get some length to it. And so then see if I tilt the head, if I don't put it straight on like a hat, but if I tilt it like that, get it all pushed down. You can get a hairline in the back. See that? And so um, I was trying it on and I, I like the way it's looking in the front. It's a little crooked there. But I think the back 
needs to go down further. So I'm going to do a few more rounds and just tilt it to the back and then press it down to make that length in the back go down because it, it, this is too much skin right there. So um, still working on that. Going to add some more rounds to that. Uh, and so that's what I've been working on. <laughs> and let's see, I went to, I had to go get some groceries today. So I went to Walmart and um, didn't really get it. Well, I got it. I always have to, I always want to go down the clearance aisle because they always usually have Lego kits and they have them marked down pretty good amount. And so I always keep an eye out. My husband does the same thing, but we keep an eye out for Lego kits. And if they've got some that are marked down like really good, we go ahead and get them. Even though my grandbaby's like 18 months old, uh, he's not ready for Legos yet. But um, we just been picking, you know, a kit up here and there and then just putting them up in the closet. And we're just waiting until he's old enough to be able to play with them. You know, wait till he's four or five years old and he'll have a whole bunch of stuff to put together <laughs> by then. <laughs> anyway, I found a very small little set. It was five, marked down to $5. And it probably makes a little bitty thing, but it's like a construction type vehicle. But it goes along with some of the other kits that we've gotten for him. And so I picked that up. In fact, I picked up two because I have a great nephew that I think would love that. And he is right at the right age. And so I picked up two of them because they were $5 a piece. So one of them will be a Christmas gift, part of a Christmas gift. And the other one will be uh, put up for my grandbaby. And so I found that. I also found uh, something for um, a, my one of my great nieces who's a teenager, um, young teenager. I think she just turned 13. And uh, I think this is going to be perfect for her. And it was marked way down. So that I had some good scores down the clearance aisle. So I did that. And then, like I said, I had to pick up some groceries. Um, I think I'm going to make meatloaf tonight. My It's a favorite of my husband's. So um, it's pretty quick to make. And so I've got the meat in there thawing out right now. And so I'm going to make that and make meatloaf. And then... Um, not sure what I'm going to make as far as side dishes. I'll probably maybe cook some broccoli. Broccoli is always good. <laughs> um, so I'll probably cook some broccoli and then um, I'm not sure. I don't have, I'm not sure. I'll, ha I'll, I'll make some type of side dish or we always have salad. So anyway, that's what I'm making for dinner. And um, I'm going to be working. I'm going to be watching my Christmas Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and work put my stripes my my stripe in for my blanket and continue to work on like I said I'm just starting the ears on this cat and uh working on this wig cap this little boy that the dolls for the feel better friend doll he has very he has hair but it's very very short you know it's cut very very short and so I won't have to do anything but do the wig cap I think and I think it'll be good um so that's good it, it'll it'll um that means that I'm getting close to already being finished with them uh I have his uh, I've got the t-shirt for him and I need to pick out a little sew on decal I think I'm gonna give him red shorts because he likes red and so I think I'm going to do that and try to pick a, a sew on decal, decal, no, patch, you know, for his t-shirt that is got some red in it to go kind of harmonize with the shorts. And so, and then of course I got to put his face on, but I'm not you're using safety eyes. As you can see, didn't put in safety eyes because I, um, they want embroidered eyes. So I've got the embroidered eyes that just need to be stitched on whenever I figure out the placement and do his ears. I figure I, I won't do that until I get the hair on there and then I can kind of figure out how, how far down from the hairline to put the eyes and then the ears, you know, kind of space everything together before I actually start sewing anything on. So, uh, but yeah, he's, he's, maybe I can get this finished by, you know, the beginning, you know, in, in the next couple of days or this weekend, try to get him finished so I can go ahead and send him off and hopefully the little boy will be able to get him in time for Christmas. That would be awesome. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> and then of course this cat, I have another week. Well, I have like a week and a couple of days uh, left or three days, a week and three days to, for this. So I, these, the main things I'm going to be working on, focusing on was these two items probably for this weekend, besides my, my Chevron blanket. Anyway, okay, I'm going to go, I think, because 20 minutes already I'm talking. And I thought, oh, this is going to be a quick video. <laughs> so, um, I think that's all I was supposed to add in here. Oh, I do have some pictures of um, some other people's uh, 
blankets. And uh, since it's already getting kind of, of a long video, I'm pointing. I'm not pointing at you. I'm, I'm looking at the timer. <laughs> but I think I'm going to go ahead and maybe fix those up and have those pictures inserted in tomorrow's video. So then you can see some progress of other people's blankets that is also doing blankets along with me. Uh, of course, Nana Rosanna. Her YouTube channel name is Crochet with Nana Rosanna, and I'm I've been watching her videos every day, and she is doing the chevron, the same blanket but different colors, um, and she's not doing a green stripe in there like I am, and so she's doing really well on her videos and her blanket. Uh, I've been following along, so I will link her channel below in the description box, and of course I will link Tara Lynn's, uh channel also below in the description box. And so uh, she's not necessarily doing vlog mess, but she has been making some videos lately. And she 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 bought this item from Hobby Lobby called Stitchmas, and it's kind of an advent thing with with I never seen it. I wish I would have seen found that, but I don't go to Hobby Lobby enough, I guess, to to see that. But it was some sort of box. It's like an advent type thing with projects in it, um, but it's crochet, and it's called Stitchmas. Uh, which is cool. And so she's been showing that, you know, also. Um, okay, I'm going to go. Everybody have a wonderful Wednesday, the middle of the week. <laughs> and um, come back tomorrow and we will have another visit for Vlogmas Day 8. Talk to you later, everyone. See you in the next video. Bye.